Don't take my trash. You don't take my trash. That's my, that's my, my trash. Snack Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is all about another van life event, but this time in San Diego, California. In today's video, I'm still with my new nomad friends and we head to another van gathering. I meet a few new friends, tour a few more converted vans, eat some more empanadas, and yes, I do touch a lot of butts in this episode. But to keep it safe, at least I wore gloves. Keep watching to find out what that's all about. Let's go. Okay, it's seven in the morning and today we're going to this van gathering that I found out about on an app called Seeker. Download that app if you don't have it already because they talk about van gatherings and ways to connect with other nomads. I'm just getting ready right now a little bit and I want to get over there because as of yesterday there was like 190 people RSVP'd and this is on Fiesta Island in the San Diego area. It doesn't start till 10, but I figure if I get over there now, get a spot, then I won't have to fight for parking once I get there. So I'm gonna change my clothes and then get on my way. Okay, I'll do my hair and makeup later and do my stretches and all that stuff once I get there. Okay, breaking news. My friend Adriana just said she's back at Sunset Cliffs to have some coffee before going over to the event because it's beautiful up there so i'm gonna meet her up there and have some coffee real quick and then we'll head over but this jerkwad parked so close to me and i heard him parking last night at like one or two in the morning and i think he hit my van because my van swayed a little bit and then it woke me up and my heart was pounding because i was in a deep sleep now i gotta do an 85 point turn to get out of here my mug and I brought my creamer oh. but I just want like half okay uh, I don't make good coffee just say <laughs> I, I don't discriminate <laughs> you say when oh that's perfect because I'm gonna load it up with cream when. okay yeah I do the same thing <laughs> then that's plenty for me was I wrong when is your birthday 25th of September thank you <laughs> just stir it in <laughs> So, I love your little coffee setup. Not too shabby. sitting here and it doesn't look like there's very many vans here so this lady came by and she's like are you here for the van gathering and we're like yeah she's like no it's over you on the fork you should have made a left or a right or whatever and we made the wrong one so now we're gonna go follow a different direction
so there's the seeker tent, or a couple of them, and then here's where we park. Adriana's there, and Sandra's there. Well, we finally found our way, but have you found your way to the subscribe button? If not, hit that and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video and keep watching till the end to see another gorgeous sunset and find out where I park for the night, which is a new experience for me. This is Seeker's first Fiesta Island gathering in two years. We could not be more grateful to have so much of our community here with us today. And we are very excited to kick off our program with a beach cleanup on partnership with I Love Clean San Diego. My name is Kat Flynn and today you are participating in our Adopt a Beach program. For about 65 years we've been the go-to nonprofit for environmental education and action. So we've been helping residents and businesses reduce waste and help clean up our county. There are trash cans all along Fiesta Island so we'll put our trash into those cans. Recycling will keep this way. Let's clean some stuff up y'all. If I heard correctly, the top three items found on beaches today are all sorts of plastic items, bottle caps, and cigarette butts. They're full of toxins and carcinogens that leach into the waterways. That's disgusting. I never even thought of this, but I can assure you that throughout the hour-long cleanup, the item I found most were cigarette butts. So I touched a lot of butts. Yes, I did, but it was for a good cause and I was wearing gloves. Even though when I pulled up to the beach, it didn't look all junky, when you get down to the nitty gritty, there was a lot of little bits of trash everywhere. And it's encouraged me that when I park somewhere, a park, a beach, a lake, or parking lot, to take even just a few minutes to pick up some trash and throw it away. It's not only good for the environment, but it's a nice thing to do to be a nice loving human as well. My trash. My, my trash. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a gloomy day and it's kind of cold. So I've been just chilling in my van for a little bit, had like a little bit of snacks. I think I'm going to go check out some of these vans. event even had entertainment and the headlining singer was Ira Wolf. Fun fact, I met Ira randomly in Huacachina, Peru when I was traveling there in 2019. And then when I came down to see who was singing, I was so surprised to see that it was her. It was a cold, gloomy day, and by the afternoon, I wasn't feeling 100%, so I decided to take a short nap. Well, that nap turned into almost evening, and by the time I got up, the sun was setting. That's okay though, because it was super beautiful. There was also one weird thing that I noticed when I got up was that all the seeker tents were down and gone, but on the app in the description, it said there was supposed to be a bonfire. We looked around and all we could see were little fires on the beach. We didn't see a bonfire and I was hungry. So I was like, do you guys just want to get empanadas again? And they were like, yeah. So Adriana and I took off to Parana Empanadas Argentinas again. But this time, in addition to the corn, I also got the margarita pizza flavor and the Malbec beef, which has been marinated for 24 hours and actually has raisins in it. And it was delicious. After that, the event was dwindling. So we decided to head out and find a good parking spot where we could all park together for the night. I just got to a parking spot. I actually don't know where I am because I followed my nomad friend Adriana. But this is a good find for parking. Now the sign says 
overnight parking, okay, but no camping or sleeping because it is illegal to sleep in your vehicle in San Diego. So I guess I have to stay up all night, but there's a lot of other vans and cars here not sleeping. And it's very quiet and peaceful over here and it's beautiful. It's like right on the water. They do close the gate. You can't leave until 4 a.m., which I'm already parked for the night, so I wasn't planning to leave. But if that's a concern, then you wouldn't want to park somewhere that has a gate where they lock you in. So I better not get a ticket. I'll let you know how it goes in the morning and take pictures of this beautiful view. Good night. And this is where I woke up. Beautiful. I got you, I got you. You cannot run and hide from me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's so interesting. And you just peel them off the rocks? Uh-huh. There's a log right now. Yeah. And, they're, they're and do you, how do you cook it? Oh, uh, just the hot water, you know. Just boiled? Uh-huh, yeah, boiled. Sweet. Thank you for Thank showing you. us. <laughs> We all hung out at that beautiful park all day, and for us nomads that do YouTube, we just edited all day. But after a day of hard work, we ended up at a restaurant called Sandbar. They had the most delicious fish tacos, and we left right on time to see this cool thing in Belmont Park. Another event. Today's uh, we go to an event, but we go to an event, but we go, but we go to a van gathering put on by. Okay, this is as we head. I'm gonna change my clothes. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my clothes and. Then and keep watching till the end. What's with all the loud trucks? Well, we finally found our. Now what? Snack time. Snack time.